Hello my darlings, welcome to this week's energy card reading where we ask the cards to show us what we can expect for this coming week, June 17th through June 23rd. Ah, oh, this is such a good reading tribe. Let's dive right in and begin unlocking the mystery of the week ahead. Let's begin with a card from the Starseed Oracle. This is star bathing and it's all about activation at a stellar level. So although you can certainly take this literal and start to star bathe tonight, lying on the grass or on a truck bed and receive the starlight energy from above, you could also meditate and ask the universe to send you activation codes, guidance and celestial wisdom. Star bathing is introducing the notion that everything is spelled out in the universe that there is a crystal-like grid up above where things are always moving, aligning, shifting, and recharging. We can begin to expand our horizon and move up a level when we trust and ask the universe to send us wisdom from the stars. That star wisdom is about unlocking the higher vibration in spirituality, practicing our third eye intuition, higher thinking, more knowledge, and fine-tuning our energy. This can be done by reading a good book that helps with understanding the astronomy astrology connection or begin a steady manifestation practice or creating a special ritual for a specific outcome based on the moon faces. Really anything that is a bit higher vibrational than our everyday life. This is an open door invitation so that you can begin leveling up it's time to stop playing small, my darlings. And next, we have a card from the El Key Oracle, and it's Renee. Renee knows that she needs to kiss a few frogs before finding her perfect charmed prince. So this can be interpreted as an act of patience, an act of hope, and an act of daring to dream and really imagine the wildest of resolutions, things that really light you up, and just start believing it wholeheartedly and believing your worth in it. So Renee is the symbol of tenacity. She is the symbol, again, of patience, and someone who does not let her past situations and past events and past feelings uh, dictate her present or shape her future. So this is a wonderful reminder that patience is going to outlast all of those things that are fleeing, such as anger, frustration, sadness, all of those things are fleeting emotions, fleeting moments. And everything shifts everything changes so hope can give us a new perspective and learning to wait in patience can give us a new perspective and this is exactly what's happening right right now those of us who have been super patient and have been going with the flow and waiting for things to just simply unfold are now starting to reap those benefits and maybe those of us who are just a little bit nervous or impatient this is a good reminder a good lesson to continue to persevere and to know that we have to quote unquote kiss a few frogs to find our prince which can be applied to anything in life it can be that we need to go through some um uncomfortable situations or uncomfortable relationships that have happened and we can't change, yet they must have happened for a reason. They have taught us a valuable lesson. Um, don't go back and wish it had never happened or beating yourself up over what went wrong. Learn to sit in patience, knowing that everything that happened is for a reason and more than likely that reason will be revealed to you in due time and it's all working out for your favor. The third card for this week is from the Citadel Oracle, and it's the Scholar. 
so this ties in so well with the stellar activation that we are feeling transitioning through this week and it's all about research and investigation and higher learning so you may be feeling this week a heightened sense of desire to learn something new to test a philosophy to really dig deep into something that has been fascinating to you but maybe you were afraid or unsure about pursuing so this is about becoming the scholar becoming the student of life becoming someone who is ready to approach a higher thinking and a higher vibrational way of life and we are all students so this week allow yourself to see if there's anything that you want to pursue in the fields of investigation and research and understanding in spiritual matters maybe some metaphysical works or just simply a thirst and a curiosity for things that are not common or often discussed or maybe they really haven't been a huge part of your life until now but you have this interest this um, birthing desire to create it and pull it into your life sphere so when we're talking about you know scholarly practices it doesn't have to be stuffy things um, it doesn't have to be homework and you know boring stuff it can be a, a much needed excitement in finding philosophies or um, research papers or books or even a local group where you can learn where you can experience, where you can ask questions and feel supported. So this week, watch out for those little nuggets of interest and opportunities coming your way. It might just lead you to some higher power portals <laughs> into a new dimension of learning and just awakening the senses and more mindfulness and awakening your intuition. And last, but certainly not least, we have a card from the Nicoletta Chacoli Los Carabello tarot deck. And I love, love, love her illustrations. They're so whimsical and just weird. And I just love them all. But here we have the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands symbolizes charisma, attraction, chemistry passion getting things done being driven being able to walk in a room and people just gravitate to you and they want to follow you and they want to have you lead them and they want to please you and make you happy and they genuinely look up to you so with this card we wrap up this week's energy by allowing ourselves one to see what we want to create what fire spark lies inside of us and what it's leading us to do and in turn it's going to find that support and that love and that help from the people around us the people who are aligned with what we do now there's always a word of caution with this card uh, making sure that we don't become so sure of ourselves or so taken up by that passion and uh, creative project that we tend to you know forget about our self-care or forget to uh, check in with other people so that's always important to make sure that those fiery flames that we feel don't end up engulfing all of our being but let's take this beautiful powerful energy and make things happen this week because this is what this card is really all about it's creation it's charisma it's getting things done and allowing your feminine side to really explode so think of reds think of fire uh think of like apple that symbol of fertility but that which also includes the the sense of birthing new uh projects new opportunities doors are opening so we have to march through them with confidence and creativity and just being able to say yes i deserve to be here i earned this i deserve this so i really 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 hope that this week is amazing for you this card readings energy is definitely heightened it's definitely powerful and we can always always find a way to take this advice and clarity and turn it into something completely amazing